Hey guys, Lego Freak here, and welcome to yet another custom Lego minifigure tutorial slash contest. Now, details on the contest will be at the end of the video, so if uh, you want to watch through it, that'd be awesome. If not, well, you can just skip to the end, I can't stop you. But, um, I'd appreciate it if you watched all the way through. Anyways, um, now, after the tutorial, um, I'm going to be giving some tips um, for YouTube because I was asked to. Um, and, um, yeah, I'll shout out the guy who asked later um, in the video. But, um, yeah. So, I'm a little out of breath, man. Breathe, everyone breathe with me. Once, one time in. All right, now... Um, one shout out to give today goes to Sick Customs 21, I believe. I uh, believe. Or it's, yeah, it's 21. Pretty darn sure. Um, so yeah. Um, if that's wrong, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, um, so yeah, now anyways, after the tutorial, I'll give some YouTube tips. And after that, I'll announce the rules for my newest contest. So, um, yeah, without further ado... Let's get into All it. All right, and the mini figure for today is the Heath Ledger Joker that I showed in my last video, I believe. Um, yeah. Um, so, you know, I thought I uh, might as well do a uh, tutorial on this guy because I like the way that it turned out. And a lot of you guys said that you liked it too. So I decided, hey, why not um, give a tutorial on this guy real quick. Um, so, um, yeah, no, I really, again, I just like the way that it turned out. I think that it um, came out really, really nice. Um, especially the uh, the face um, and, the, and the coat makes it look really, really cool as well. Um, of course, gave him a little knife there. So, uh, you know, he could put smiles on people's faces. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the uh, tools that I used. All right, and the tools that I used for this particular minifigure include um, blue paint. Not a lot, but I did use it. Purple paint here. Um, red paint. White paint. Let me move this so you can see it. White paint. We have brown paint and black paint. And this kind of limish green paint. And of course, a paintbrush and a thumbtack for details. Whoa. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the pieces that I used. Alright, so the pieces I used for this particular minifigure. Um, this kind of Lego hair that was brown at one point, but... Yeah. Um, now this face might surprise you. Um, this is actually a Gandalf face. Um, and um, the reason I used it was because um, I noticed that kind of slight smile he had. And I thought that with the right paint, it would look a lot like the Joker smile. Because in the movie, he doesn't really smile with his teeth that often. It's just sort of, you know, with his mouth closed. And I thought that it looked really, really good. So that's what I used. And obviously, I did some serious modifying to it. But um, it does look a lot like him, I think. So that's a Gandalf head. Um, the torso is just one in this kind of greenish, light green color. Um, so yeah, obviously, I didn't use this one because this is a really cool torso. But I did use one in this color. Um, just some standard purple pants. These ones have some modifying on it for some reason. I don't remember exactly what I was painting there. But yeah, um, some standard purple arms. And of course I did use this, um, whoop, little brick arms knife as well. I also did use standard purple hands. Um, stay up, torso, gosh. Um, and, um, yeah, and of course I did use, um, one of the trench coats that I showed how to make in my trench coat tutorial. Um, but I just painted that purple. So yeah, if you do have some of those handy, then of course um, you can make one and just paint it purple. So um, yeah, but let's get into the actual painting tutorial. All right guys, so for the sake of the tutorial, I did take the trench coat off and it looks not as cool. But um, yeah, so this is what it looked like without the trench coat. So um, yeah, oh, I forgot to mention this in the tools that I used, but I did use a little bit of gold right there, but of course that's completely optional. Um, so yeah, in one of the reference photos, he had a gold chain there, so I decided, hey, you know, why not add a little bit more detail. Anyways, um, so first off, um, what I did was I basically erased the torso print. Um, you can see that this was, at one point, a Star Wars torso in this lime green color. Um, not much done on the back, because the coat covers all that, so um, yeah. But um, pretty much what I did was just started by taking the print completely off of this torso. Um, and I used this green because I think this green looks really cool. I think it looks uh, like it did in the movie. Um, so yeah, and it did kind of give it a dirty-ish effect. Um, you could probably see that. So yeah, now um, the belt piece was not actually purple. This was the same lime green color, which you can tell if I turn the figure around. 
Um, basically, I painted the bottom part here um, purple to match the legs, but the reason I did that was to match the shirt color, because I don't have paint that matches this. So I decided, hey, you know, keep the belt, um, this lime green color, and then paint purple around it to make it look like the shirt was hanging down. And I think it looks really nice. Um, I think it looks like a real shirt. So yeah, um, now basically the first thing I did was I painted this black V um, right there with, you know, with black and then did a line down the middle. Um, and then I painted a, a upside down V right here in black as well. So yeah, then basically from the V, I went out and kind of did slanted lines that kind of go up there. So one, one that goes, you know, up that way and one that goes up that way. So yeah. Um, and then, um, I painted the four buttons right here in black. So yeah. And then I did paint in the inside of the V blue. And over the blue, I painted a tie with brown. So basically a little, basically a black outline. So like a black uh, semicircle. And then just two lines going down from that to the V. Um, then filled that in with brown. So that's his tie. Um, yeah, now for the purple part here, basically I just filled in everything, like below the black lines with purple. Um, and then painted the entire legs with this darkish purple. Because you can see that's the official purple. That's the dark purple. I think the dark purple is more accurate. Um, so yeah. So that's pretty much it for the legs. And then I painted the shoes brown and a little black line going across the bottom, which you can't really see, but they are there for a little bit more detail. And of course the gold chain, which just kind of goes down and then goes back around and uh, up. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the chain, which you can't see most of the time because of the coat, but I thought, hey, might as well put a little bit more detail because you can see it at some time sometimes. So yeah. Um, now, as far as the face goes, pretty much what I did was I painted the I painted around the eyes this kind of, you know, this dark U under the eye and then the little dark thing over the eye. Um, I started that with both and then I did the, filled it in with white and did um, a black dot because most Lego faces have black eyes with a white dot. I kind of switched it. So basically where the black was, I painted white and put a black dot where the white one was. Um, and I think it turned out really well. It was a little bit of trial and error, but again, this is just a modified face. And you can see the Gandalf smile right there originally. Basically, it does painted a little bit of red around that, and then just did kind of a, a little a messy-ish because of the scars. I just went up um, on either side, and I think it looks great. Um, then I did kind of all the white paint. Now, you can see in some parts, like right here, it looks more tan because I kind of... Um, kind of made it look a little bit more sloppy like it was actually makeup as opposed to um, his face being actually white so you can see that it, it's easier to see in person but there are spots where it's rubbing off and of course I didn't put any on his neck because that would not be accurate but yeah I think that it looks really nice and then I painted a little bit of wrinkles right there because um, he does have a rather wrinkly forehead so yeah and I did use this hair um, and again it's not perfectly accurate but it's the most accurate one I could find and I painted it um, this weird green color. It's not quite this green. It's a little bit darker. And I left some spots open where it's brown because um, that is accurate to the film as well. So now for the jacket, pretty much what I did for it was just standard jacket, painted it purple, and put four black buttons on it. That is really all I did to the standard trench coat. And if you don't know um, how to make this, I did make a tutorial whoop, on how to make um, trench coats like this. Um, I'm just going to let it lay there. Um, so, yeah, really simplistic minifigure, but one that I absolutely love. I love the Heath Ledger Joker. So, um, yeah, that about wraps up this tutorial. All right, so um, we're going to get into a little bit of YouTube tips. Now, um, the reason I'm doing this is because I was asked by this channel. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but he asked me, um, you know, if there's any tips I can give. And I thought, you know, might as well put them in the video because, you know, why not? So, um... Just starting out, um, I did go and check your channel, so there's no videos yet or anything. So pretty much, um, I just want to kind of give the the tips, at least that I, you know, how I do stuff. Um, and obviously, you know, do what works for you. But this is kind of the tips that I would give. So pretty much, first thing um, with YouTube um, is be consistent. I see a lot of people like upload just whenever, and if your schedule is whatever, then I guess that works. Um, but for me, I like to be consistent. I like, you know, I pick a schedule and I try and follow it the best that I can. I mean, I've been off of it recently just because, um, the computer is being stupid, but, um, most of the time I want to stick with, um, my upload three times a week. Ba -ba -ba. Um, what is it? Saturday, Monday, 
wait, yeah, Saturday, Monday, Thursday. Man, I can't even remember. Anyways, but you know, so pick a schedule that up that you know when you're gonna upload. Um, I would wouldn't try anything drastic right away. You know, don't do three days a week right away. That's too much. You'll just feel swamped. So pick a schedule and stick with it. You know, commit to it. Um, you know, if if your upload schedule is once a month, then do it. Stick with it. It doesn't have to be very, very, you know, it doesn't have to be a bunch of videos right away, you know? Take your time. Work into the YouTube thing. It's not something you just start and get instantly good at. It's something, you know, it's a process. Um, you know, again, I'm not even like... <laughs> I'm not even like, I'm not a YouTube genius or anything. I'm not even a customizing genius. So, but, you know, so just kind of work into it. Don't expect instant success because that is not going to happen. Um, you know, don't expect right away a bunch of subs and things like that because, you know, it's just not how it works. So, you know, take your time, work into it, and just pick a schedule and commit to it. Stick with it. If it doesn't work, change it, but still try and keep your videos consistent. You know, once a week, twice a week, whatever. Um, whatever works, just make sure that it is consistent because I, I like that. I don't know about anyone else. But for me personally, I like it when things are consistent. So, you know, that's why I feel awful when I don't get a video up. I'm like, dang it. But, yeah. So that's step one, uh, or tip one. Tip number two is, well, um, you said you're making customs, so paint. Paint is important. Um, you know, Sharpie customs, they're fine, I guess. But, you know, if you really want to get good at customs, paint is a necessary thing. Now, since you are a beginner, at least I'm assuming you're a beginner, um, good paint. You you don't just buy whatever paint, all right? Um, chances are, if it says Crayola on it, don't use it for Legos. Just, <laughs> just don't. Nothing against Crayola, but it's not for Legos. For Lego paints, um, for beginners, I would recommend, there's three different kinds I would recommend for you since you are a beginner. And number one is probably Apple Barrel, just because um, the reason is if you mess up, if you screw up, you can scrape it off um, and start again. There is really no mistake too big for, for you to not fix it with Apple Barrel, um, as well as two other brands I'm going to um, say. The reason I use Apple Barrel, I'm going to be perfectly honest, it's cheap. Um, <laughs> it is cheap. Now, I would prefer to switch to paint. I don't know where it is. I'll find it later. It's called Model Master. It's a lot better, but for a beginner, it's not. If you're just starting out, don't buy Model Master. Don't buy um, this kind. It's little testers modeling paint. Don't get that because it's a lot harder to fix your mistakes with it. So if you're just starting out, stick with Apple Barrel or there is also Folk Art right here, Folk Art, um, or this new one that I found, um, Deco Art. So these three are really good for beginners because you can fix your mistakes, you can scrape it off, you can start again. Now out of these three here, the best brand thus far out of these three is Deco Art. It's a lot smoother. It's, it's a lot more consistent than Apple Barrel or Folk Art. These ones can get a little bit clumpy. This one thus far has been really, really, really good. So if you're going to go for one of these three brands, I would recommend Deco Art. But all three of these will work for beginners. Um, just you want one of these because they're easier to correct mistakes. And as a beginner, yeah, you're going to make some mistakes. I'm not going to lie. Um, my first customs were god-awful. Uh, <laughs> um, terrible. Um, and I'm still trying to get better. So those are good paints, but just, again, you're not going to be the best customizer right off. So just know that. Um, next tip for YouTube is haters. You're going to get people that don't like your stuff. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter how big you are, how small your channel is. People are always, there's always going to be someone that's going, oh, those suck. Yep. Yep. There's always going to be. So don't, don't let them get to you. It's number one. Don't let the haters get to you it's not something you want they, let them say whatever you know don't don't jump on and argue with them about your stuff let them talk all right um because when you hop on and you're like oh well really and you, you get really upset that's what they want they want you to get upset and discouraged and they want you to argue with them and yell at them just let them be you know um don't and i mean i haven't got that much hate to be honest for in my comments or anything like that but i've no one's really ever said, oh, I hate your stuff. Um, but, you know, don't don't let the bad comments get to you because there will be some and you just kind of have to let it go. Um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Those opinions shouldn't matter. 
So, you know, that's a, that's a tip for anyone, you know. Don't don't let all the bad stuff, just don't let it weigh you down. Just let it go. Let it fly past you. Um, because there will also be all the people that say that you're awesome. And you should listen to that. Because, you know, if you like your stuff, it doesn't matter what anyone else says, does it? <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know, just realize that it's your YouTube channel. And if someone doesn't like something, you don't have to change it because they don't like it. Don't don't be pushed too many directions. Like, for instance, someone suggested I make Mortal Kombat figures. I don't want to, so I'm not going to. Um, so, you know, don't don't be pushed around by your your subscribers, you know, just kind of... And I mean, ob obviously, their, their opinions matter. Like, I'm not saying, you know, ignore all your subscribers. I'm saying that, you know, if you really do like something... Don't change it because someone says you should, um, is what I'm trying to say. So again, don't let don't let haters get to you. Um, another thing is that sometimes people give constructive criticism, which is a great thing. You want that, which is people where people give you advice. But sometimes you might think, oh, they're they're just trying to hate on me. You know, you have to learn to distinguish between the two, because you know sometimes people are trying to help you, and it it sometimes in your brain you think, oh, they're they're trying to discourage me or they're you know they're hating on me. Um, you know, so just kind of learn to distinguish between constructive criticism, like, you know, a hater's like someone, oh, this part sucks, this sucks. And whereas constructive criticism is like, um, I would change this. Um, they're, they're trying to help you and give you an idea of what they would like. Um, so, you know, and that's really nice. You know, you want to hear what, what, you know, your subscribers want, what the people watching, what they want to see and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it for that. And now last tip. That I'm going to give is um, with customs. Practice, practice, practice. Nothing good comes without practice. Um, you know, keep working on it, keep painting, keep, you know, improving um, and things like that. Now, people have told me that my stuff has improved a lot since I started, and I, I agree with that. Um, so, you know, keep improving, keep practicing, keep doing it no matter what. You know, don't get discouraged, don't give up because it's hard or you're not getting as many subs as you thought. Things like that. So just practice a lot on painting and things like that. And you will get better. Um, learn to sculpt. Sculpting is amazing. Sculpting changed me. No. Uh, <laughs> so that's that's another tip is, you know, don't, um, don't stop improving, practicing, making your stuff as good as it can possibly be. Um, so, um, yeah, that's about it for tips as far as, you know, both YouTube and uh, customs go. Um, so yeah, good luck with your channel. Um, can't wait to see your first video. Um, as soon as you have a video up, I'll probably subscribe. Um, I haven't done it yet just because, um, I don't know. I should probably do that. Anyways, but um, yeah, so um, everyone else watching this, uh, make sure to check out his first video when it's up. Because, um, you know, give him some support. He's just starting out. Starting out so um, yeah, now probably the part that you've all been waiting for, we're going to get into the contest. You guys ready? Let's do this. You know that part that part in the video where you want to be cool, but you can't stop the gosh darn camera and you just sit there like an idiot like Oh, it's not stopped. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. All the time. You guys just don't know. He's before you at the epicness that is big figs. Oh. They're screwed. Yes, um, I got a package recently with a ton of big figs in it. Most of these um, were from that. Now, that brings us to the contest. Basically, this is a big fig contest. Yes. Now, uh, there are some more complex rules. I mean, look at all these things. They are awesome. Now, I'll be changing quite a few of these, like Dark Side. I already have one, so I'll be changing him. I'll be changing Red Hulk, probably. Um, you know, um, so yeah, there's quite a few. I mean, look at all these. There's 16 of them here. They're so beautiful. So, um, yeah. Now, that brings us to the um, the rules. Now, the rules are, um, basically, um, you can submit as many big figs as you wish. Now, they cannot be big figs that LEGO has already made. Meaning, you can't just update Dark Side like I did. Whoops. I just knocked them all over. Anyways, um, played dominoes. No. So, there's Dark Side that Lego made, and here's the one that I updated a bit. You, you, this wouldn't count as a submission, because it's not that much different. Um, so, it has to be something new. Something Lego has not done before. That, uh, you know, kind of like the thing, who's not quite done yet. I mean, his hands look really weird. But, 
and his eyes look weird, but he's almost done. But yeah, something new, something unique um, that LEGO has not yet done with a big fig. So um, that that's kind of the rules, and again, you can submit up to four. I highly doubt anyone's going to submit more than that unless they have a collection kind of like I do. Um, because again, um, awesome package. I mean, look at all these. Um, this was Rhino at one point, but I'm going to change him, cut the horns off. But yeah, um, so that's the newest contest. Sorry, my finger's in the way. Big Fig Contest. I'm not quite sure what the prize will be yet. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to have uh, two, two different um, choices for the prize. You can either pick, um, you know, uh, a basically any custom figure you want. I'm not going to be giving away a Big Fig just because... Um, I'm probably going to use all of these <laughs> to make something. So, but I'll I'll either be giving away one figure of uh of your choice that I can make for you or actually, you know what? I'll I might give away this this one here, this other um basically that I have already have this one here, which is the one that I painted to make look more realistic. I have this one here um from Iron Man 3 and um I really don't know what to do with this one. So this is another choice. So uh, basically the winner can either pick any figure they want me to make for them, a uh, small figure, or they can pick to have this sent to them. Um, absolutely free, of course. So um, yeah, but basically the winner gets to choose um, one of those two. Um, so yeah, pretty much that does it for the... Um, the contest rules. Um, we want to wish everyone good luck. Now, um, time limits. There, I have not actually chosen a time that this will end, and the reason is big figs are hard to come by. Um, I understand that quite a few of you might have trouble laying your hands on some big figs. So, um, and of course, they take a long time to make too. If you want to make them really good, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put a time limit on this one. Basically, I'll have a video on my channel a week from when it ends. Now, again, I don't know when it's gonna end, so. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know a week from when it ends, whenever that is. So, but for the most part, you have quite a bit of time. So don't, don't worry too much about rushing. I'm going to give this one a, quite a bit before I announce the winner, just because it is such a, well, big contest, uh, pun intended. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys are excited because I absolutely love big figs. I mean, look at some of these. They're glorious. Like Venom. Oh, I have done some modifying to it, but look at this thing. It's glorious. But, um, yeah, now, and again, let me know what big figs you guys would like to see me make with some of these. Because, again, I don't need two Hulks. Um, I don't need, you know, two of anything, really. Um, I don't know what to do with him. I, I kind of don't like this Green Goblin as Green Goblin. I mean, I like the way the big fig looks. But, to me, he doesn't, I, I, I don't know. This just doesn't look like Green Goblin to me. So, you know, you guys can let me know what you might want to see me do with this guy. I'm not sure what to do with Groot as he's a little not accurate in size. But he looks really cool. Um... So, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm doing with a lot of these. I am working on a doomsday back there. I'll give it a little sneak peek. Look at this. Um, so, again, my finger. Gosh darn it. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys uh, want me to make with some of these. And, again, take your time with this. You know, there's no limit right now. You know, take your time to work on these, to get one. You know, make it good. Make it something unique. Blow me away um, with some of your big fig uh, entries. Um, and make sure that, you know, you have Lego Freak or... Yeah, Lego Freak Contest Entry somewhere in the title, just so it's easier to find. Um, and also make sure to comment on my most recent video um, that your entry is up. You know, post um, just on the most recent video um, that your contest entry is up, so that way it's easy to find. Because I usually check just my most recent video comments, so make sure to post it, you know, whichever video I post most recently. Let me know when your Big Fig submission is up, and I will go over and check it out. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Alright guys, hope you liked the video. If you make sure to drop a like, or leave a like, drop a like, whatever. I drop a like. But, um, anyways, um, as well as subscribe, um, you know, subscribers are growing pretty, pretty good, um, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, and also let me know in the comments if any of my tips were helpful. Um, I hope they were. And, um, you know, if you're excited about all the new movies coming out, because I am getting pumped for all the new stuff coming out. Like, watch this out tomorrow, even though that's not a movie. Um, I've been working on those figures a lot, by the way. Batman vs. Superman, Captain America Civil War. So many good movies coming out. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to go see Star Wars 7. No spoilers in the comments. None. None about... St no. Don't do it. But I will be seeing that probably on Christmas Day, maybe. Um, it depends. But, you know, me and my family are going to go see it. So that, that'll be awesome. So much good stuff. But, um, 
yeah, anyways, I have a lot of work to do with those big figs. You know, there's quite a few of them over there. So, but anyways, this has been Lego Freak. Peace. Three, two, one.